Today I'm going to show you some really cool cleaning tips and tricks. WD-40 is not only good for lubricating, but if you've got a grimy, dirty, oily patch on a surface, you can give it a quick squirt of WD-40 and rub it off with a kitchen paper. The WD-40 helps to break down the oil and give it a wipe down with warm soapy water after. It's also really good for cleaning off grime from your tools. I squirted some onto the handle of these pliers, gave them a good wipe down, and they're as good as new. Candles are great, they create a nice soft light and set a bit of an atmosphere. But if you accidentally spill wax onto your carpet, it can be really difficult to get out. Here's a tip to help. Take a piece of kitchen paper, fold it in half and place it over the wax. Next we're going to use an iron and heat up the wax through the paper. When it's liquid, it'll be absorbed into the paper like this. I turned it over and used the other end to do the same again. Keep moving the iron and make sure you don't melt the carpet. Repeat the process as many times as you need to until all the wax is gone. And your carpet should be as good as new. If you move some furniture and find an imprint in your carpet, you can use a fork to revive it and make the imprint nice and plush again. If you're cleaning fluff off a garment but find you've come to the end of your lint roller, you can make your own out of a roll of tape. Pull off a strip and instead of cutting it off, wrap it backwards around the roll and stick it to itself like this. Now it's ready to roll over your garment. There's our DIY lint roller. And of course when it becomes full, you can just pull the strip of tape off and peel back another one so it's ready to go again. If you've been unfortunate and sat in some chewing gum, here's a tip for how to get it off. Remove your trousers, then I'm putting on a rubber glove to pick off as much as I can. You can see it's really ingrained into the fabric. Next, take an ice cube, place it on the gum and leave it for a few minutes to freeze the gum solid. Then pick it off the clothes as much as you can. Once you're left with just these little bits ingrained, put the ice cube back on for a few minutes. Then I used a knife to carefully scrape all the little bits out of the fabric, being careful not to damage the material. Once I'd lifted it all off, I gave it a brush. And left it to dry. And there we go, it really has come out well. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.